All right, guys. What's up? Another nice Saturday morning here. We're gonna go out and mainly just do some fun fishing today, guys. We ain't fishing no online tournament, no one day tournament, nothing right now. We're just gonna go out today and let it mainly just be us and the fish today and whatever we may catch. So, we're probably gonna head to Norris Lake or we might end up on Cherokee or we might end up on Douglas. We're gonna go wherever the road takes us today, guys. So, main thing is hopefully we get out there today and this, we have fun. So, I'll see y'all when we get to the lake. All right, guys, we made it down here. This calculated some of my color choices last night. Douglas Lake, I'm used to Douglas, and Douglas is clear right now. <laughs> Norris ain't right now, at least where I'm at it ain't. Just heard a big one smack behind me. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I was a popper this morning. See what happens. I can't get over how low they've dropped it. It's actually kind of crazy. It's just August, and I swear it's fall time level out here right now. <laughs> trying this new little popper out I got for my birthday <laughs> that's right guys birthday boy here well birthday boy here tomorrow <laughs> my birthday is August the 6th I ain't really been able to figure out this year though guys is with Norris is why is the lake level so low Douglas is full of pool Cherokee's full of pool well Cherokee might be a couple feet down. I swear. Norris looks like it's about 10 foot probably. Because you can see the water line right here. Maybe not 10 foot. But it's at least 5 foot or more down. This water I guess is a little stained. More stained than what I realized. Well maybe not. I don't know if we'll go back in the back of the creek or not. I really don't see it being worth it if it been down this low right now. Because usually what I fish back there probably ain't even got much water on it now. That's something I ain't been able to figure out this year, guys. <clears throat> GoPro, stop recording. Here we go. Please stay on there. Good sized bass, guys. I think I barely got him up too. Oh, come on. Please God. It's a good one. Dang it. He's a fighter. Yeah. Big old large mouth. Look at that there, guys. Perfect. Perfect. I gotta get a picture of that crank in his mouth. There we go. Heck yeah. The only reason I've done that, guys, is like I said, it's one of my birthday presents. <laughs> we got it. Good deal. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, he's hooked pretty good. He, he had them hooks buried in his nose. <laughs> that's a good chunk. Hey, that's a good chunky one. Thank you, Lord. There you guys have it. First of the morning. On the crank. 
And like I said, I ain't in no tournament or nothing this time. We just fishing. We just out. Come on now. You cooperate. Co uh, uh. Whoa, you gotta see that. I about lost him. He decided he's gonna come up and do a backflip on me. <laughs> Dang it, boy. Quit. Mm. This is part of it, guys. You get one like this that don't wanna sit still. Makes it hard on you. There we go. Decent large mouth. Let this sucker go. Boy, he mad. <laughs> it's a good one. Yo, pro, stop recording. I don't know, guys. It's really shallow back there. There we go. We got that one. Get a little spot. <laughs> Heck yeah. Another one to show off at the birthday gifts are working. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Decent, decent little spot. We can just get him out of net now. <laughs> I swear I hate treble hooks. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're gonna do both this time, guys. We're gonna get us a length, and we're gonna get us a weight measurement. Just to try out my new scale to see how well she works. We might, since we're not fishing a tournament, we might just go all weight today. Who knows after this one. It's a keeper. It's about to jump. <laughs> That's why you always keep your net right there, guys can't stress that enough the tournament anglers or just anybody that's fishing it's twice now that he could have got out and the net has saved him from being gone I swear they they active there we go let's see we'll get a weight in a minute Got it. Well, if I don't lose him in my net. <laughs> I'm trying to get him down there and get him in the water. And we can maybe breathe. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is dragging out right here. <laughs> Second catch of the day. Thankful for that. I can get my scale on now. Fourteen ounces. <laughs> Not enough to. Zero it out. Sorry, guys. Trying to keep it zeroed. Yeah, 14 ounces. He's a jumper. Let him go. 
GoPro, stop recording. The only reason I ain't really changed anything out yet is I'm honestly gonna go down the lake today fish. Because if this is this dark right through here, I can only imagine what back in the creek, you know, probably looks like. <laughs> it's probably mud. And I really don't feel like fishing muddy, muddy water today. So, <laughs> let's go down the lake some, see if we can find some cleaner water, maybe. Which, you never know, I've seen times when you can't get a bite in that clean water and you get up in some muddy water, boom, there they are. GoPro, stop recording. Got one hitting the jig here, guys. Go just take it now. Maybe he did take it. He did. Oh, yeah. He took it. <laughs> Bring the landing. Yeah, number three, choked the jig. Oh, yeah, he choked that jig. I thought I felt him pick it up. I swear the way he was pecking on it, guys, is like a bluegill almost. So, I didn't really think much about it there at first until I felt him running. Now on that champion's jigger, guys, I mean, he choked it. That's what you want. Ah, that is what you want right there. It's for him to choke it. Boy, that was good. So far, we're catching them on jigs, topwater, and crankbait. So not too bad of a morning. I was worried that jig color wasn't going to work, but it is. I can't remember what the color is called. It's made by Champion, though. 15 and a half. Like I said, too bad I didn't sign up for one of my tournaments. Yeah, 15 and a half, guys. That's a monster. <laughs> Not. It's a good one, though. I'm gonna weigh him real quick. I just wanna mess around with my scales some. Like I said, just, just to make sure they're in tune. Zeroed out. We have a pound. Pound eight, not bad. Pound eight. Decent largemouth, guys. Decent largemouth. Let him go. Thank you, buddy. Go, pro. <laughs> number three no that's number four oh it looked like it might have been one sitting there a lot of shad that was piled up right there I kept seeing something ball on them thank you buddy I'm telling you that that popper right there, that is a bad killer, guys. It really is. I wouldn't be sleeping on uh, them cheap lures if I was y'all. Like I said, you ain't gotta have, you know, expensive name brand crap like all of us like to 
get out there and use. You can literally go out there and catch them cheap lures like I'm doing right now. It'll eat them just the same. I made number four though. I was thinking three, but that was actually number four. I've seen one blow up right over here by these rocks, guys. Let's see if we can get him. I'm going to get him to react before I get up on her. Too close. Like right over here, yeah, right there. It's cool thing about bass. A lot of times, where they blow up at, you'll see them stay right there for a few minutes. I love how they've been all about this popper. A few of them anyways. That one ain't no. Okay guys, we caught one more a few minutes ago. I was letting the camera charge up and uh, caught another little 12 inch or dragging a worm back there on that main lake point. I swear he felt huge. <laughs> That's the thing about these summertime bass, even the small ones got a, a heck of a pull to them this time of year. <laughs> That or I had a big one and he popped loose and then a little one. Got it. Something. That's what we're going to go with was I did have a big one. He popped loose and a little one grabbed it in. <laughs> but we're going to go back here and fish these uh, bridge pillars where I caught that 20 incher at. Last time I was down here and see if we can't maybe catch us another 20 incher today. Who knows? As long as nobody's back there bank fishing in the creek. I'm gonna go back through there maybe and see what well, I can see the pillars. That's good and bad. That just means they're not down there. Deep how I'd like them. They might be some bass sitting on them. I highly doubt it. I believe they're too shallow right now. But I can really see the tops of them. Try dragging a worm. I still ain't fixed this reel yet. I got too much line on it, guys. Like way too much line. No, last time I caught was right here and caught one is on a jig. That one pick it up right there. <clears throat> there we go. Ah, oh, he came off. I had one. Came off. Felt like a good one too. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, my grass boy is going crazy. GoPro, stop recording. Said I had one there and I lost him. I let him pick it up. That was it. He stayed on it for a second. Ain't get a good enough hook set on him. Is it either a little one or a good one? Uh huh. Hopefully, it's just a little one I missed. That makes two now. First one bringing that shaky head in, and that one just now. Ooh. Maybe. Yep, right there. Picked it up. Yep, got him. A somewhat decent one. Oh, he came off. <laughs> nah, he wasn't too big. I ain't worried about it. We got rope, guys. My graft. Something's wrong. Guys, no crap. Right here is a duck's head on a hook. Somebody literally been out here fishing with a duck's head. I'm going to get it. Like. Right. Yeah. I just want to know why. Look at this. That's a whole ass duck's head <laughs> on a hook. Weird flex on how to catch them, but that works, I guess. That or the poor little thing got snagged and died. I want to kind of feel sorry for him. There it is, a whole ass duck's head. Alright huh. guys, I'm going to go fish one more offshore spot. I'm going to go back up here to the, the main bridge and drag a worm around for a few minutes, see what happens and get no bites and we're out of here because like the great Adam Sandler once said guys, it is too damn hot for a penguin to be walking around out here. And that is the case today. This penguin is hot. So, but I can't complain. We've, we've put four in the boat, I think, so far and lost two or three. Let's see, we've landed four and lost three. So, not too bad for that midsummer, well, late summer bite. Probably better if they wouldn't drop the lake daggone 15 feet, might as well say. <laughs> well, it is what it is so get back up to here and see what we can do in a few minutes there we go that's a good one or a decent one <sighs> little bitty guy <laughs> Flipped in there, he choked that jig. Once again, it's a champion's jig for you. It's actually a good jig. I consider it like a brush jig. Oh, 
Not bad, though. Go pro right, stop. Yeah, there's our last little spot for today. I know I fished it earlier this morning, but I figure since it's heated up some, they might move on it now. They weren't on it earlier, that's for sure. We don't think they're on it at all, honestly. <laughs> That's just because of the water level. It's only like five foot right here, five, six foot. But the good part about it is it does drop about 20 right there. So, I mean, you never know. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's a good one there. Oh yeah, that's a real good one. They're on this offshore spot. Fine landing. Oh fuck, he came off. <laughs> Excuse my language, but he came off. That's at least a two, two and a half pounder right there this loss. Dang. I figured if they weren't on it this morning, they'd be sitting on it now. And so far that guy was. I'm gonna throw back up there, see if I can get another one. That was a pretty good size one though. It's about two, two and a half pounds. See if we can get another one. GoPro, stop right, recording. Guys, that's it for today. I'm burning up. So, I can't complain. We caught, we caught a limit today. Lost three or four, so not too bad. But, let's get loaded up and get home, guys. Like always, be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. Help the channel grow. Until next time, guys. Tight lines. GoPro.